welcome to my channel. This is Anne Signature Beauty Home and um, in today's tutorial we'll be talking about lace. I've been mentioning this over and over again. Um, sorry but if this is your first time of joining us um, you're highly welcome. If you want to learn a lot about hair ventilating this is one of the best channels I believe. I believe and uh, if you've been there with us um, thanks for your support so far and I hope you've you've been learning a lot on this channel so um, unfortunately in this part of the world as here in Nigeria we have very we have access to very little I mean um, limited type of lace or mesh or net whatever you choose to call it okay and um, there are different types of net there are so many there are different types of nets out there um when it comes to ventilating some people make use of um here in niger some of some people out there make use of veil nets that's the one they use in making clothes and all that some people make use of all manner of nets for ventilating but in this um video i'm going to be talking about a whole lot i'm going to be um talking about a whole lot okay that has to do with um um ventilating some nets are stretchy mm, while others are not some have a side that is stretchy while the other side is not stretchy um is there anything wrong with using a stretchy um lace fabric no i don't think there's anything wrong with that especially it depends on what you're going for actually which we'll discuss um um, somewhere in this class from the screen you can see different types of lace you can see the um, film lace you can see the Swiss lace we all know Swiss lace you can see the HD lace um, you can see the extra fine Swiss lace the vanish lace opera lace natural lace there are different types of lace some of them are very stretchy like the hd lace is very soft it's very delicate and it's very very stretchy um now talking about the the most important thing to me when it comes to lace choosing the right lace for what you're doing i'm sorry i'm not showing you my face when it comes to choosing the right type of lace is um the dandia the denier of the lace is um, has to do with the thickness of that lace and I'm supposed to be showing my face in this picture but no I just <laughs> I don't really like showing my face on um, uh, sorry on videos so um, so do bear with me just try and follow up okay and um, so the denier of a lace is a, is what I believe is most important and the denier talks about the thickness or the thinness of a lace that don't talk about the thin thickness we're talking of um, this that's the thickness how thick the lace is or how thin the lace is because this determines how much it disappears into the skin okay the thinner the lace the you can see it on the screen there's a picture they're showing you everything the thinner the lasers the thinner the lace the lesser the denier then the easy the easier it blends into the skin then the thicker the lace the higher the ven the denier then um the more difficult it is to blend um with the skin now we're going to be talking about where the best areas of the head to use this lace okay for a thicker lace a lace with a higher veneer denier sorry it is better to use it on the crown area this is the crown area of the head it's better to use this on this area and then here at the back of the i don't know if you can see the mannequin clearly at the back of the um of the wig you're working on so it's the thicker it's better to use thick denier laces on the crown and the back of the lace so and um, a, a lace that is between 60 to 100 percent denier is um, thick like we said earlier and um, a lace that is between 35 and 55 these are the laces that are best used on the front part of the of the wig 
when you're trying to blend it into um, the skin, you have to make use of concealers, as foundations, um, tints, lace tints, um, powders, whatsoever to blend it into the skin. There is nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with using this type of lace. Just that it requires more work when it comes to blending it into the skin. So now talking about um, any denier that is less than that from the skin screen, you can see it is very small. That's from that's less than 35. Those ones are perfect because once you lay them on the skin, they almost disappear. For instance, the HD lace. You don't have to do so much work. Once it goes on the skin, it just disappears. HD lace has a very thin, um, a very low denier, and it easily disappears into the skin. I don't have examples. I wish I do. HD laces are very, very expensive. I saw one on on Aliexpress, it's actually going for 18, 000, no, 19,000 for a yard. So those laces are very, very expensive. The thinner the, the lace, the more expensive, actually. Um, well, when we talk about Swiss lace, everybody in Nigeria knows Swiss lace. Swiss lace is very, very good. It's perfect. I think I have it here. I have Swiss lace over here. This is a Swiss lace. You can see this is a Swiss lace. This lace is very, very good. Then um, it's, um, it's breathable and then it's used. I mean, you can use it at the middle of the head. You can use it wherever, in, on any part of the wig you want to use it on. Sorry. So Swiss lace is very good. And for this type, I've noticed something about Swiss lace. There's, there's the extra fine Swiss lace and there's the, um, um, just the normal Swiss lace. And uh, when it comes to Swiss lace, some of them are a bit stretchy, like a part of it is stretchy. You can see this area, like I can drag it in front of you, you can see stretchy, not too stretchy actually. Okay, so let me get a ruler and let's measure how stretchy this is. Um, okay, I'm using this normal telos. Um, stuff here so I'm just going to start from this side to this side and then we'll stretch to see how stretchy this can be so without stretching it is at, it's it is at 17 now when I stretch it let's see how stretchy this can go this is at 22 you can see so without stretching is at seven, 17 right so it's stretching it as so it can stretch up to like uh, five inches. Okay, so that is it about this. So you can see one side of it is not stretchy at all, while the other um, side is stretchy. From the screen, you can see different types of um, lace that's mesh, net, whatever you choose to call it. You can see the film lace is about 20% denier which means you know already it's, it's thin and it's, it blends easily to the, into the skin and um, which means it's expensive. Swiss lace is about 30, Swiss lace is very okay. Extra fine Swiss lace is 15, 15, that is very low. That is very low. Vanish is 30, opera lace is 30, natural lace is 30. So from the screen you can see what they all look like. Now let's bring this thing home because in Nigeria we only have this and then I think I have some I have veil lace so let me, let me get a veil lace so I have some pieces of veil lace here when I started ventilating I, I started with this and um, although the patterns are not they are not the same they are not the same I don't know if you guys can see the pattern um, how do I show you guys this? I don't know if you can see the pattern. They are not the same as Swiss. Now let me show you Swiss lace pattern. You can see how um, it's running. You can see this. You can see how it is. And then you can see, and these, some of these veil lace, they have different um, grid, sorry guys. They have different grid patterns, okay? And um, some of some of them, okay, look at this. I this is the one they sell in the market. They sell this for I think about um, 100 naira, 200 naira. 
in the market you can see this and then some of this lace um, um, they are very stretchy others are not stretchy but to me the most important thing is the one that blends most into your skin and you also have to consider the area of the wig you're going to be using this so do not forget use the thicker areas on the crown I mean use the thicker lace on the crown and the back why you, you can use fine lace soft lace like the HD lace, HD lace is very very soft you can use those ones on the front on the frontal part of the wig lace, of the wig sorry so um, I've shown you guys the patterns on this now I'm going to be talking about this lace okay I got from someone this lace was shipped from um, they said China according to them and actually I've been selling this lace for a while now and I noticed some of them like this so let's check the stretchy a part of it just like Swiss lace is not stretchy you can see while the other side is quite stretchy and some of them are more stretchy than the others so now let me show you what we have here so you can see the pattern on this lace I don't know if you guys can see it let me just place it against my skin so you can see that and then when you compare it to the Swiss lace you can see there's a little bit of uh, similarity here okay the, the Swiss lace goes for about I got this for 5,000 here in Nigeria per yard while this one I sell is just about 1,200 naira per yard I think this lace is is really okay we've been using it for making um, frontals and all this stuff you can see that the um, braided wig on the screen that's what was used so now let's measure to see um, Swiss lace stretched by five inches so without stretching this lace let's see let me come a little bit closer without stretching this particular one because some of these lace are more they are more stretchy than the other they are stretchier or they are more stretchy than the others I don't know so without stretching this is at 11 so when I stretch uh, this is at 15 inches so 15 minus uh, 11 that's 4 men you see that this is even less stretchier than the this other one and then we have different types then this is another one this one I'm not going to go into details but this is way less stretchier than the original Swiss lace and um, we have a lot of them here there are some that are strong and then there are some that are really soft um, and so on and so forth so let me show you guys what we have here all these things are for sale in case you're interested you can just let me know okay you can see this is not stretch it's quite stretchy one side is always stretchy it's a bit stretchy and the other side is there's nothing going on there okay and um, we have different color varieties here um, because of the different skin tones we have here in Nigeria it's very very important I always advise people to go for colors that are very close or sometimes I even advise a shade darker than you rather than going for a shade lighter I always advise to go for a shade lower than you so look at this here you can see I can use, I can just use a foundation over this um, to blend it better into my skin I'm going to be doing a video on how to blend um, stuff into your skin okay how to blend this into your skin if I'm using this this is uh, this is dark okay and uh, you can see that it's really dark for me but then let's see if we can if we can find something that is closest to my skin color oh I have this over there well oh, this is just a piece but I'm just going to use it to show you guys I was actually using it to make a full lace um, so uh, look at this and I guess if you guys can see this man guy okay look at that this is quite close to my skin. but the best thing what I'm going to do if I'm if I'm getting a lace for myself I will just go I may decide to use this this is the Swiss lace Swiss lace I can decide to use this as well and then blend it into my skin so um so what happens if you can 
afford this lace you go ahead and get this then what happens if you can't afford this particular one that's the one i sell you go ahead and get this okay there is absolutely nothing wrong with using something you can afford all that matters is to in fact the most important thing in all this is to ensure that it blends into your skin please there's nothing as ugly as when you're wearing a wig and it's looking different from your skin tone like it ends up looking like you're wearing a cap you, you have to wear a wig. you can see that wig um the picture on the screen i did that for my mother you can see how the lace melted we actually used this you can see how the lace melted into her skin that's what it's supposed to look like i can remember when she went to, to the market she came back and she was like um do you know people were asking they said they love my packing jaw that that's the that's what you want to hear you want people to say oh man i love your hair they shouldn't tell they shouldn't sit and say oh my god i love your wig you know when, once you start getting that comment those uh, type of comment that means you need to work on that means you have to work on the blending you have to blend it properly so um, the next video i think the next video i'm going to be doing will be on how to blend this it will be a part two of another video or maybe i should just put everything i think what yes. you're supposed to do is on types of knots right types of um, ventilating knots but because i've already talked about this i would handle how to blend it first before the other one so ensure and i'm going to be posting that other video this same week this same week okay so um I hope you learned something in this video. If you have any questions, do ask me. Like I said earlier, there's nothing wrong with using what you have around you. It's okay, but um, for professional use, if you're making wigs for people, make use of this, okay? Especially, in fact, let me mention this. If you're doing a full lace net, a full lace wig cap, ensure you use, please, stick to just this um, Swiss, this particular lace. Stick to this particular lace or a strong this type of net you can still you can use any of this for a full lace cap and it will be very strong okay it will, so that it can hold it can have a structure on the head um, that will be wearing it so um i don't know if there's something i'm missing out and if in case i'm missing out anything by god's grace i'll be talking about it in my next video so i wish somebody can just help me and fix all this thing i've done here man arranging this whole place i know it's not so much work but yeah um so if you want to buy any of the laces i sell just call the number on the screen and i um, love you guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions drop it in the comment section below and if there's any other type of net you're using that we don't know yet please show us just tell us about it in the comment section below and um yeah have a nice time love you guys bye